Hi fellow designers, we have updated Artboard Studio beta version and added tons of new features. In this video we are covering dark and light theme options with new interface design, vector path animations, transform effect, blend effect, new warp and perspective transformation, new animate on path, move tool, convert text to shape, copy paste content between projects, make patterns from the images in the canvas, audio import, embed YouTube videos. All these updates are available for anyone. Simply visit beta.artboard.studio and start creating your masterpiece. First and most obvious update is the new interface. We have changed the interface design a little bit, also added dark mode. You can switch to light or dark mode anytime, or set it to auto, this way it will switch the interface color based on your system default. For changing the theme, open the editor, then open the hamburger menu on the left top, go to view menu and then go to theme options, here you can choose from, auto, dark or light interface option. Having a pen tool is an essential thing for any vector based design tools. With this new update we have improved the experience of creating vector shapes with the pen tool. Also now you can create keyframes for each vector points to create animated shapes. Simply draw a shape by using the pen tool. Then activate the animation mode with the record button. Now, double click on the shape and activate the edit mode. Here, you can move the vector points to create the first keyframe. Then change the time with the playhead and move your vector point to another place. Now you have created two keyframes for the position of this particular vector point. And the best part, you can create animation for any type of vector elements, even with the basic shapes, after you convert them into path. You can even use this animated shape as a mask to any image or video objects. This new addition really changing the way of creating motion graphics. Say hello to a game changer new effect. It is called transform effect, a new way of making interesting and eye-catching duplications out of any element on your canvas. Transform effect simply duplicates the element with some customizable options. You can duplicate elements symmetrically or asymmetrically based on positions, scale, size and angle. Simply define how many copies you want, and then change the values and define the way of this object duplicates. Translate option defines the positions and gaps between copies. Angle option defines the rotation of each copy step by step. Scale option defines the steps of resizing based on scale percentage. The best part, like any other value or input, you can activate the animation mode and create keyframes for these options. Also you can use transform effect for any type of layer such as text, shape, image, video, smart object layers. Even the animated objects can have transform effect. And you guessed right, sky is the limit for creating abstract and unique motion graphics. Let's jump to another cool new effect called Blend Objects. This new effect basically helps you to create and distribute several different shapes evenly between two objects. For example, if you have a rectangle and circle on your canvas, you can turn this rectangle into circle with customizable steps. In order to apply this effect to objects, you need to select at least two different objects. Then you will see Blend Objects menu on the right contextual menu. Then from the steps and offset inputs, define the way of blend. If you increase the steps option, you will get more objects for this transformation. If you apply different color, gradient or stroke to each object, Blend Effect is going to blend two different appearances too. After generating the Blend Effect, you can keep changing the styles or position for each object. For that, press and hold Command key to select individual objects, then move it around or change appearance as you want. Again, the best part is being able to create keyframes for each values for blend effect. You can animate the steps or offset easily. Also, you can blend two animated objects. Let's say you have animated two different shapes. While these objects playing their own animation, you can blend these two objects with their animations. You can also combine this with transform effect. This way you can create mind-blowing motion graphics. Already you can apply warp or perspective transformation to any smart object layer, image or video layer. With this new update, we have improved the way of warp and perspective transformation. Simply select any image, video or smart object layer on your canvas. Then go to top bar to apply warping or perspective transformation. Now, when you apply warp transformation, you have option to choose the number of grids that you can distort and warp. 
more grids, will give you more points to play with warp transformation. You can add up to 10 grids to selected object for warping. As you know, we already have move on path function, which let you to move an object along a vector path. Now with this new update, we have added rotation as an option. This way you can decide the object will be rotating or just changing the position while moving along the path. With this new update, now we have a move or selection tool. This was one of the most requested features and really needed. Now if you are done with any tool like pen tool, shape tool or text tool, simply press escape key to enable it. Reposition it on the top of artboard icon to make it easy to activate. Another cool update is turning custom fonts into shapes. With this new update, you can import your own custom font to artboard, type a text and then turn this text layer into a shape layer. And if you go to layers panel, you will see that each letter now turned into a vector shape inside a group. You can select each letter individually, double click on it, and edit the vector points as you want. And another cool update is copying pasting elements or artboards between different projects. Simply select any element or artboard on your canvas, then without closing the browser, open another project and paste it. The only limitation is, this feature works with only in the same browser tab, unfortunately you cannot copy paste between different tabs. But we are working on it. For creating patterns, you would need to upload image from your computer all the time. But with this new update, now you can pick any image from your canvas and define as pattern. For that, select a shape on your canvas. Go to fill option and click on the color. Choose pattern option on the left top menu from the color picker. Now you can choose to upload an image from your computer or you can choose select from canvas option. Then click on any image on your canvas with this pointer. Now you set this image as a pattern to shape which you can keep editing the position, scale or any other option. And of course you can create keyframes out of these values and make animations. Now you can import audio files or videos with audio. Simply drag and drop your MP3 file to your canvas. You will see an audio icon. If you move it into an artboard, this sound file will go to the timeline editor, which means you can add multiple audio files and change timing as you want. If an audio file inside an artboard, it attached to that particular artboard. Don't worry if you see the icon on your artboard, because it will not be visible when you export and render your video. And for some reason, if you want to mute the audio or hide from your artboard, you can go to layers panel and click on the mute or hide icon. The next update is YouTube videos. If you are creating a mood board inside the infinite canvas or you need to explain something to your colleagues, you can now copy YouTube video links and paste into your canvas. You can play the video inside the app without going to YouTube or change the size or position of video thumbnail as you want. Yeah, these are all latest updates on Artboard Studio. Visit beta.artboard.studio and start experiencing them.